Right, we keep on getting asked about. Wait, is that your washing basket? Yes, washing basket. And you done that before you came? No, I don't, I don't tell I'll ask you, I don't know. <laughs> right, we keep on getting asked about our um, setups on rivers, uh, especially when we're bait fishing. Not that we do as much bait fishing as we do low fishing, but today at waters, if Paul pans down at water, you'll realise it's the colour of ack. Got about eight, nine inch visibility, so you know, sometimes you've got to turn to baits. We've caught a few already today. So what we use, um, these are dedicated boat rods, so the 10 foot 6, 3 pound test curve uh, boat rods, these are greys but you know you, you can use out like that, um, these greys prowler platinums. And then we've got Shimano 10,000 bait runners with 65 pound braid on. The uh, reason we're using really strong braid is it's a really snaggy spot so um, 9 times out of 10 we will get as baits back if we get them stuck on bottom, don't want to believe tethered traces on bottom, chat dog. Then what we have, we have a cheapo nasty polystyrene float, like this. These are only nice, these are only really cheap. You buy them in bulk or you buy them from shops, you get them for about two or three quid and they're, they're for no. The good thing is they're extremely buoyant, which is really important when we're doing this. And then what we've got, we'll put that bit of that to one side. What we've got is a run rig. Now this is a free running run rig, so it runs up and down line. And the bonus of these is that they've got, I'll show you inside, I don't know, just pull it out and show. So if you get snacked on bottom, you pull, and then pop, leg goes. So you've no chance of getting stuck on bottom. I use L's all the time, they're made by ProLogic. Um, and they're really, really good. I've been using those for about five, six years now, and uh, I think they're really good. Good thing is the wide bore as well. They're not like little tiny ones, so run up and down line nice and perfect then you've got a large stop bead which is a rubber one that goes up top of your swivel onto a, uh, I can't remember what we call these box call these like a twist swivel so you would just tie a trace on quick lock are they called quick lock something like that yeah so you're running off with trace really really quickly standard trace over 18 inch long two size 4 owners which I, I generally always use owners, I've used don't, same again I've used owners for years uh, they're quite good hooks, they're really really sharp and as long as it, you know they, they, you don't let them go blunt they're a, they're a good one and then obviously you've just got a bait on there nice and simple, nothing hard about it um, if you're fishing in slacks it, it works really really well do you want me to cast one out Paul and show how it sets yeah, on explain, the bottom? explain how it goes because like you say you can also use this um, like bank fishing carrier, it's not just a Oh boat yeah, yeah, fishing. we use that. I, that's my standard setup. I use on bank or, or on boat. There's, there's no difference really. Um, obviously, set just a lot, sh a lot um, shallower on rivers in margins. Set it about four or five foot to drop it in margins, and away it goes. Now the only difference is with these is they sit flat float, which is not a problem. A lot of people say, oh, well, you're supposed to have your floats cocked, but it doesn't really make that much of a difference because where where rivers flow you get a bow in the line anyway, so anything touching the bottom, anything mo anything moving away from there will set off rings off your float, so what you get oh, if you can look over there, Paul's hopefully I'll zoom in, wait on can you, can you see that left float? Wait on. yep so you see that left float that's what you tend to get, so as soon as anything picks that line up that's what you get, and because there's tension on line it doesn't make that much of a difference, you feel a little bit more over depth, we generally set them about 4 foot over depth on here but that's generally what you get as soon as a fish, a fish picks up. So you get that initial pick up at bait, rings coming off it, and then obviously what'll happen, pull it, float will start moving, and it'll cock itself, cock up, go straight down. Standard setup. Uh, I'll cast them over what sort of depth you've got over there, Paul. Um, it's right at bottom. Nice. <laughs> Another little trick I'll show you. So, we stop knot, when I get to it, and we float and the thing. Is there? That's my stop knot. Just gone on line there now. So what you've got there, you've got a ten foot six rod. So double that is twenty foot. It's twenty well twenty nearly twenty one foot. So I reckon that's set now about twenty two foot, twenty three foot to the bottom. So that's how I use it. So if I'm in twenty foot of water, I use two rod lengths at about three or four foot, and that should make it perfect. You see over there? I'll drop it there. Yeah. Just going to the right of my overflow. I'll, I'll stick to the right inside of the offload. Yeah. Okay? Yep. Drop it there. Let line out. So I've got it right now. Stop knot will hit the float. Got it bang on. <laughs> Unbelievable, isn't it? Try it there. 
Nearly did it, didn't it? Yeah, that's it, isn't it? And that's too deep. Is it? No. That's perfect depth, that. That's perfect depth. So you leave that float there, so it'll, any any movement on it will should cock it because it's tied to foot, tied to lead. There you go, that's perfect setup is that. And what you've got there, your bait's further forward, you've got tension in line, so anything anything that picks that up now will set off your float like that, and away you'll go. Fish on. That's exactly how it's supposed to be. Simple as that. I think I need to replace my bait pal, do you think? It's fine, is that mate? It's got about another 10 fish in it, that thing, don't you? Yeah. I'd freeze that, mate. Yorkshire style. I'd freeze that again. <laughs> you had to kill and freeze it. <laughs> don't ever chuck them away. Oh, it's still there. Still there, just a little switch. No size. Bike, bike, bike. 